Hello, this is Meryl and I'm here at the Belly Up and we're excited to announce a new monthly series. Each month we're going to show you one Belly Up staff member and show you what they do behind the scenes to bring you quality entertainment each and every night. We started with one of our favorites, Shai Zeladon, who does lights. The lights have a huge impact on the energy of the crowd. Our job is to get people dancing for these happy hours and we're a dance band and the lights are 80% of the energy that gets going on in, in the room. And Cheyenne is really good at that. How long have you been doing lights for? And give me a little background into your music industry experience. My Uncle Brad, sound guy here, he had called me on the blue about nine years ago and said, you know, come do lights. A monkey can do it. It'll be so easy, no pressure. I'm like, okay. I did a show and they said, can you fill it again? Can you fill it again? And I just kept filling in for like a year or two and then I got the job. Now, if you're wondering what all of these do, most people don't know. They just think they're a bunch of numbers and letters, but they're actually really important during the show. All these are my colored lights. B for blue, M for magenta, A for amber, B for violet, R for red, G for green. My ACL, those are my crowd lights. If you want to blind the crowd. Um, and the rest of it's me, nothing's automatic, it's just me. Very vintage lighting, nothing high tech. Hey, Chris, play bass, grassy. Mike Stone, drums. Billy Joe Clements, guitar, grassy. What's cool about Shy actually is, is that um, I've noticed every time we play, she always, because we like to build the songs and you know, do all our stuff ups and downs, the roller coasters, and she's really good about bringing the lights up and down with the music, and you know, it's pretty important. Work all day. It's 10 p.m. Cheyenne, you rock! Oh, Cheyenne rocks. Uh, whenever she's on the job, I don't have to worry about a thing. She gives me what I need, when I need it, and what else can what else can you ask for? So as long as you pay attention to the drummer, you'll have good lights because it'll always be on beat. Some people just do crazy lights to make it look fancy, but then you don't catch everything. You don't catch the breaks. You don't catch you know when it when it gets high, when it gets low. If you pay attention to the drummer, your lights will always look like you know what you're doing. So tell us a little bit about what sets of colors are linked to different moods and emotions. When it's dark and it's moody, you know, gets your blues, your violets, your lower light colors. We usually call it a cool scene. And then when it's very dramatic and mad, you want to go more warm. You want to use your red, your magentas, the amber. So it's kind of the same with your lighting. We like saturated primary colors. So some nights bands will give me a cheat sheet. Atomic Groove is always good about giving me a cheat sheet. They want me to know every song. Every lead singer for that song, front and back, for their first set, for their second set. I pretty much know their set, like the back of my hand already, but sometimes we'll sneak a couple songs in there. And then tonight, uh, Led Zeppelin, they would like me to know their lighting conditions. So say there is a little budding Cheyenne out there, because there definitely is. What would be kind of the first steps that you would suggest they take? I'm gonna be honest, it's who you know. So I would definitely try to get in the theater, go check out shows, get a feel for it. Uh, go and see live music just to kind of see what other LDDs are doing um, and make some friends with some sound guys. Come to shows, ask to do internships, just work for free. Let them see your skills. Let them see that you'll be useful and then get in that way. 
Like I said, it's all about who you know. But if you come in and get enough experience, I'm sure someone will pick you up. Don't let money change ya.